All right, hello and welcome to Pedaling Downhill where we are back up at Thunder Mountain. It is one of the five remaining weekends that you have left to get up here and ride. Technically, by the time you see this, there will only be four left. So get your ass up and get up here and ride. And if you're not coming here, then you better be going to another bike park because you're gonna be able to ride those trails at some point after these places close. It's about getting the laps in today. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get up there. Nate's just hanging out. I saw some other people I know from Connecticut. Maybe we'll take some laps with them. But for now, we're gonna get up on the chairlift and we're gonna go ride our bike. All right, here we go. Boy, oh boy, Cat and Mouse is running good today. Definitely some leaf litter, but a clear path through. So, good stuff. Woo! So I'm just towing Mike and the guys from Connecticut in. I'm gonna wait for them up here. See how they're doing. More mud. Nice. There's the sun. Great in my eyes. <laughs> Part where you gotta be careful right here. Bang, just bang off that corner. Woo! Luckily it's not full of leaves or wet this weekend. There's three small tables, very small. And then there's a small drop, like what, three feet? Sometimes I brake check on the board to drop into the pocket and then there's a small step up after it and it makes that pop better. Pop, turn, drop. <laughs> Yo! Nice and dry. Yeah, dude. Woo! <laughs> I love clearing that. That is super fun. Whoa, this is different. Oh shit, that's soft. Uh, okay. Loam line on Trillium, new loam line. It's about 80 feet long. And then up here, I'm gonna hip into this corner. Try to anyway. Hip. Hooray! There we go, hit the line. That one's changed a little. I haven't ridden this since the leaves came down yet. Woo, woo, woo. That is very steep now. There's so many leaves out here today. Eww! So many leaves today. <laughs> it's like surfing. It literally is like surfing in the leaves. It's so awesome. Pulaski or Jason? Yeah, I can do Pulaski. I haven't done that yet.
Okay, hang on. What the fuck was that that we passed back there? Did you pass something? Yes. Didn't notice. I, I have to know. Like something. Yeah, and that berm. It said black diamond, so it caught my interest. I need to know what it is. See it? Right up here. What the hell are you? It's old blend back. Oh shit. Get the fuck out. Get back to old blend? Yay! Yeah. Okay, so it's a little bit of a climb. I'm not in that gear, so I'm gonna hike this part. <laughs> so it's loamy, so make sure you're in the right gear if you go for this. Old blend, back of shack. Do you wanna do old blend or back of shack? Oh, it says drop. This is, what is, what, there's a drop here? That's not good. Got rid of a beeline right there. Hmm. I'm not falling on my face right there right now though. I'm trying to think of like, cause this is pretty steep. You come down into it and you, yeah, you gotta pull. Here we go. Woo! Some new loamy bits on back of shack, you guys. I would suggest coming to check it out. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Yo. Whew. Take the ridge line onto it too. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> That's loose. Love that line. That double pump through there is fun. Another big flat drop. It's our first jump run of the day. All right, we're gonna come into it. A little hot today. Pop that first jump, super floaty and fun. Right here. Woo! And then a little bar turn. Woo! Coming in hot. Stay to the left here to avoid the brake bumps as much as you can. Bar turn here. Baby hip there. Bar turn. Bar turn. Oh, is that the only trick you know? Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, did it the other way that time. Huh? Just trail speed it out right through here. No brakes necessary, just send it. Send it, send it, send it. Woo! I like to pedal just a little here. Clean. Hollywood. It's only been like three, two, three weeks since I've ridden this trail. No particular reason, just haven't. Just been doing a lot of tech. Here we go. Woo! Nice, that feels so floaty and fun. All right, we gotta get into this one. Go, 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 go. Whew. 
Short. This one's got a lot of pop. <laughs> There we go. Get back in the rhythm. Cleared the moon booter. That felt good. Woo! There we go. Yo! These are the big boys. Woo! Yeah! The long and low is the one that still gives me a little bit of heebie-jeebies and we cleared that one, no problem. Let's go. Now we do battle with the step up. Here we go. And the big boy. Nice! Woo! -hoo! Woo! That was fun. Yeah. Did not clear all of them. Most of them, but not all. I'm gonna try and hit up old blend here. Something we haven't done on the channel in forever. And that's all on a reroute up here, along with the uh, back of shack. Oh shit, that's right, dump gears, dump gears. All right, so we're gonna come up here and old blend is to the left. No clue where at on the whole blend this puts us on. It's been so long since I've ridden it. I forgot it was tight. <laughs> Some tidy turns. Woo. You good? A lot of off camber roots. I forgot about that on this. Okay. Now I remember the exit, the behind. Okay, all right. I was having a hell of a time remembering this one. I don't remember now. Hell yeah. I took the weird side. <laughs> yeah, dude. Let's go! Woo. Bike's making a weird sound in the back. This whole run. I don't know what it is. It's very weird. All right, I gotta dip down to the car and take a look at whatever this noise is. Yeah, I got some crunches going on in my gears. I'm gonna go wash my shin off though, because it's pretty bloody. All right. What is this sound? What sound is my bike making today? I just serviced the entire bottom end. So I don't know what it could be, but pulled the cranks cleaned the bottom bracket, greased and lubed everything. Everything was tight when I put it back together, so 
I'm not sure what this noise is, but you only hear it when I'm hitting hard, crunchy tech, like big stuff. All right, that's gonna do it for us today on Pedaling Downhill. I came back to the car to do an investigation on what's that noise, only to find out that I am missing an entire pin from my rear derailleur. And on top of that, filming this upside down right now, we've also got a crack right here in this arm and the bushings are a little bit worn. So I'm basically gonna have to look into that this week and see if I can't get the bike sorted out before next weekend because we were hoping to get another ride in at Killington. So we're gonna reach out to our friends at Airline Cycles, talk to Brian this week, see what he can do for us, see if I can get my hands on another GX Axis derailleur so I don't have to thread the housing and the cable and all the other horse shit. I just wanna ride, so we're gonna do our best to try and get another Axis on there. Keep on going. Hey, it's another YouTuber. All right, guys, so you know what we always say, get off that couch, get out of that chair, go ride your bike, preferably out there. I'm going to be doing maintenance on mine in my basement. Peace out, guys. So I figured I should give you guys a quick update on where we are in the season. It's my 43rd day here at Thunder this year, which means we would have spent on our average of $55 a ticket per ride $2,365 in tickets. Whew. Glad I bought that season pass. So again, like I always say, if you're wondering, is it worth it to get a season pass? It's worth it if you make it worth it. And boy, did Krista and I make it worth it this year. 43 days in and still counting. Four more weekends to go before it's all over.